Today, we're announcing the new iPad, and it is amazing. Yes, the new iPad is here, and it's certainly a sight to behold. Well, at least the screen is. The one standout feature to the new Apple computer tablet is a beautiful high-resolution screen that's likely going to knock your socks off with its fine detail and bursts of color. The new iPad, Apple doesn't seem to want to call it anything else for the moment, is the third generation tablet that makes huge strides in the screen's resolution while making only moderate updates in everything else. It certainly looks the same as the earlier versions. It's slightly thicker than the iPad 2, though still thinner than the first iPad, and it's noticeably heavier. You can sense the extra heft here, thanks to a bigger battery that Apple had to use. In addition to the screen, the new iPad now has 4G connectivity through AT&T and Verizon. In my tests, using a Verizon 4G model, the wireless transfer rates were blazingly fast, something like 10 or 11 megabits per second or faster, compared to a quarter of that on the slower AT&T 3G iPad 2 that I have. It also has a faster processor, though I don't think you're going to see much difference in the overall speed of the iPad. In order for this new version to run at the same rate as the older iPad but on a higher resolution screen, this new version has to have a faster graphics processor. Because of that, games run just as speedy, images appear just as quickly, and pages scroll just as smoothly as before. Another improvement is in the rear-facing camera. The new iPad has a 5 megapixel camera for taking pictures and for high-definition video running at 1080 lines of resolution. Pictures and video certainly look much better as you can see in some of the videos that I'm showing here, and pictures appear more clear and detailed. Unfortunately, the front-facing camera is still the low-level VGA camera it was since the iPad 2. That may be good enough for low-resolution video conferencing, but hopefully Apple will produce a better camera next time. It's hard to show off just how good that new screen looks in this video, but believe me, the detail and crispness of the images are astounding, especially up close. Books and magazines look more like a glossy printed page than a pixelated LCD screen, and the textures on certain games that take advantage of the graphics processor, like Infinity Blade 2, look outstanding. Should you upgrade? Well, if how things look on your tablet is an important consideration, then definitely take the plunge and get the new iPad. Otherwise, that's going to be a tougher decision since the other features are just mild updates. If you're new to computer tablets, however, don't waste any time. The iPad is still, far and away, the best on the market, and likely will be for some time. This is Vince Horiuchi for the Salt Lake Tribune.